All right, I'm at the point where my current Adobe Creative Cloud membership has expired. 30 days is up. Now I've got to cough up the money. So here we are. I'm trying to uh, access the Creative Cloud and validate the software. So it looks like your trial has expired and it's $9.99 per month. If you want to join now, I'm sure they rope you into a contract like a lot of companies. All right, you can pay through PayPal. You probably can pay through a credit card. I think I'll use PayPal just in case there's an issue I can contest it. So let's see, there's photography, $9.99, the single app, 20 bucks a month. Uh, you have individuals, business, students, teachers, schools, and universities. Obviously, we're gonna do students and teachers, and we have a few different options. There's $9.90 a month, or you can do a one-year contract and actually uh, pay a bit more. I believe it comes out to like $129 for the year plus tax, or maybe it's $119 plus tax. Or you can do the complete Photoshop plus the Adobe Premiere, Illustrator, and the whole nine yards for $200 a year. So it looks like there's an annual plan. I think that's what we'll do. So you can see this little drop down menu option under photography. So the annual plan is $119.88 per year. Why do they pick an odd number? Who knows? So we can click buy now. And then we're going to run into a little bit of a glitch because it's been a long while since I've used my Adobe ID. And I guess to get into the Creative Cloud, you have to access it through your Adobe ID. So I've typed in my name, my email address, and it looks like my password isn't correct. So now I'm going to do reset password. Type in the email address that you use to set up the account. And then, well, oh, looks like I just tried to sign in again. So I'm going to click the forgot password link at the bottom right hand corner and type in that email address again. And then from there, click send. And it should show up in my email box. In a, in an instant. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome or any browser you want and go to the email address that I accessed it, set it up at, opened it up, and there's Adobe Creative Cloud email, and there's a little blue link for reset password. So I click that in, click on that, and make sure you write down your password this time. I'm sure they have some parameters you have to follow. Probably looks like you have to have an uppercase letter, some punctuation, blah, 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 all that other stuff. They always like to make it tough. All these companies just want to make life difficult for all of us. It's amazing how many passwords we got to remember. It gets to be a little bit ridiculous. So reset password. Let's see what I end up typing in here. I don't know why that popped up. All right, so I'm going to choose a unique password. And as I type it in, I'm going to write it down this time. Choose an uppercase letter and a punctuation mark. and Make it as secure as possible. Not that someone's going to attempt to hack my Adobe ID, but you never know. There's so many hackers out there at this point in history. All right, so it's all reset. Now, last month I actually downloaded the free trial version of Adobe Photoshop, so it's already installed on my computer. So that's a good thing. So I reset my password, and I believe you have to go and check the email again. Yep, there it is, and continue to your account. So you have to basically acknowledge that email that you have just reset your password. So it's the second email. Okay, now I'm entering the cloud again. Learn about the Creative Cloud. Choose a plan. 
So make sure you click on choose a plan. And then I'm going to do the 120 bucks for the year. And now, since I've written down my password this time, let's see if I'm smart enough to remember what I just chose. Yep, so it's all green. Green's a nice color in this instant. Stay signed in. I'm going to make sure I click on that this time. Enter that password, sign in. Now you have to accept the terms and conditions. $119.88 plus tax. I'm sure that's going to come out to about 130 or 129. Let's see what, what we arrive at. So click on accept terms and conditions and there you go. Your great big screen pops up. Okay. All right, sorry for that confusion. So I'm gonna click on PayPal. Well, you could choose a credit card if you wanted to. Continue with PayPal and automatically, I'm hoping that it'll be in the memory of this browser, my address. Pops right up. Phone's already there. Continue to PayPal. Provide your payment information. Okay, Creative Cloud Photography Plan signed in with your name. Okay, there we are. So that screen pops up and you pay through PayPal and you have to log in. So for those of you who have uh, done a little bit of online shopping, this should be a piece of cake. You know, purchasing stuff over the web software, music, Walmart, clothing, just about everything you can purchase on the purchase over the web this day and age. So we click confirm. Your order is being processed. This may take a few minutes. Please do not click back or reload this page to avoid duplicating your purchase. With my luck, I'll be charged two or three times. Let's hope not. All right, so here we go. External protocol request. I don't know why that popped up. I'm going to remember. I think I'm going to click on to remember this. Or launch application. Okay, there we are. So it looks like it's downloading Lightroom also, which is part of the Photoshop CC photography plan. You get Lightroom and Photoshop. And since the software is already installed on my computer, it should open up right now. Let's hope it does. So, okay, there we are. I'm going to go up to start and click on that Photoshop CC right where it was before for the entire month and license this software. Well, we already have it licensed and we're going to go sign in and we should have it open up in a split second. 
Please wait for a moment. Thank you. Congratulations on your purchase for the Adobe Creative Cloud. Blah, 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 blah. Click continue. There it goes. It's opening up Photoshop. We're good to go now. Until about a year from now, we're going to have to cough up that money again. I remember the old days. Photoshop was so reasonably priced. Now they want to get in everybody's pockets and make every single possible buck they can. It's all about that good old American buck this day and age. Things are just so expensive. <laughs>